Hey guys, this is Golden Nova on Whatever Comes to Mind, episode 4. And what I've got on my mind today is. Uh. Nope, I've got nothing. So instead, I'll take some time to read some quality manga. Five hours later. Oh, Alan Walker. Will you ever cast the Millennium Earl? <laughs> oh, right, the new, uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh card. Well, can't be anything too important. I mean, what was the last card that came in that? Cyber Altanen? I mean, it's not like that did anyone any good. Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe I have found what is on my mind. Okay, so we have the latest card coming out from Shonen Jump, an exclusive called Hundred Eyes Dragon. Uh, it's a level 8 dark attribute synchro dragon monster, whose materials consist of one dark tuner and one or more non-tuner fiend type monsters. That's a stretch. Uh, attack 3000, defense 2500, and its effects state that you can remove from play one level 6 or lower effect dark monster in your grave from play. To have Hundred Eyes Dragon become that card's name and get that monster's effect for the rest of the turn. And also it has something at the end about adding an Earthbound Immortal to your hand from your deck if it gets destroyed. So you can take that in for Earthbound Immortal decks. So basically what this episode is about is talking about Hundred Eyes Dragon if you haven't figured that out already. I'm trying to think of a lot of different ways to use this card. The Shonen Jump gave you the obvious way of using it. Some Infernity cards and... This card could be a very good tech into Infernity decks, allowing you to remove from play things like uh, Infernity Necromancer in case you need that extra special summon, maybe Infernity Beetle if you're crazy enough, Infernity Mirages to get the field presence out there. But there are other decks that I could think of, namely one that I have, um, and that would be Gladiator Beasts. Now, let me stop you for a second. I, I haven't thought it all the way through myself, but Geyseris is a level 6 dark attribute monster. So, in essence, what you could get is a gladiator beast with 3,000 attack that could end up swapping out for two more. If, you know, I ended up having it in the grave. The problem is finding a dark tuner and fiend monsters... Okay, scratch the tuner part, you know, who doesn't use Gale when they need a dark tuner. But that means we need a level 5 fiend type monster or any number of combinations that are up to five that are fiends. And I can't think of any that you could put in a GB's deck that would both help for Hundred Eyes Dragon and the deck in general. There's also a whole slew of other decks out there. Definitely Blackwing, considering how many darks they have. I mean, hell, if zombies ever come back, Hundred Eyes Dragon is going to be a godsend. I mean, a 3000 Synchro that says, oh, hey, I will pitch a zombie to special summon another zombie out. And it keep going with the special summon. But mostly I want to hear what you guys think about Hunter Dies Dragon. What cards would be best put to use with Hunter Dies Dragon on the field? Uh, what are some really wicked ways to bring out Hunter Dies Dragon? Just go nuts. Anyway, that's whatever came to my mind this week on The Real Card Shark. This is Golden Nova, and we'll see you guys later.